You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures too. Please, Ugo Loma, the ever-loving goddess of our land, look after my daughter. May no harm before her. Please take her as your own. Guide her to the right family that will love and raise her well. My husband does not like a female child in order to avoid him hating on this child. I decided to bring her to you. She is yours, Ugoloma. Please take care of her. Uzomili, we know that her husband, Uzodene, is not a lazy man. <laughs> hey, I thank you, our ancestors. have done this to this innocent child. <sighs> Ugo Loma. Since I find this child before you, I will take her home. I will take the baby home. So it becomes a sister to my son. I will take care of her. I will take care of her. I will do my best to bring her up. She will be safe in my hand. For your sake, Hugo Loma. Sorry, sorry, dear. Oh. Sorry, just stop crying. My baby. Sorry, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry, my sorry. Baby. <laughs> Where my baby. Where is my baby? Where is my husband? Sorry, sorry. Don't worry, your husband. Where is my husband? This kind of thing is still true. My baby. Sorry. Stop crying. Stop crying. Sorry, you have to give you another one, okay? Stop crying. Where is my husband? Ah, my husband. <laughs> stop crying, stop crying, okay? Because Come on, husband, for me. Don't worry, husband is for me. Sorry. Where is my husband? Sorry now, sorry. Just stay hard. Oh, my husband. <laughs> Stop 
My wife, why are you crying? Did anything happen? I lost the baby. <laughs> the baby is dead. <laughs> Stop crying. It's okay. Here. Ungoloma has given us a child finally. Where did you get this baby, my husband? I thank the gods. Like I said, Ugo Loma has given us a child finally, and I'm so happy. I thank the gods. Thanks to the gods. <sighs> hey! Ugo Loma! Again, eh? Ugo Loma! Again, eh? Ugo Loma! Again, eh? Ugo Loma! Again, eh? 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 Again, I am thanking you so specially, Guloma, for this special blessing. Finally, you have given me a child. Even though it is not a son as I expected, but a child is a child. I thank you so much for my daughter. My wife and I will never worry anymore. We will worry no more. I give you thanks. I can see how happy they are. Kamara, my daughter, as far as I am concerned, nobody will ever treat you bad. I love you so much, my daughter. I love you, my wife. I am thanking you once more. No soldier, hey, you go here. And how much you can answer the aqua? Who go long? Again, no, you again, no, again, no, no. Your father watched you grow up, he loved you so much with everything he had. No one dares bully nor say anything against you and I if your father is there. <laughs> So when it was time to give you a name, your father called you Kamara, which he said means great joy. It was the name of his boss's wife in Gabon before he came back to Nigeria. So watching you grow up gave him so much joy that he had to forget about not having a male child. I hope to remind him someday until the giver of life took him <laughs> it's okay mama stop stop crying wipe your tears wipe your tears I'm sure that wherever papa is he's very happy with us I know you see that's why I said you are not a bastard you are a freeborn like every other child of this land. You're not an outcast. You're my child. Medical science will prove it any time if they decide to tell that line. I guess I do. You're my child. <laughs>
Uh, don't worry. I promise I'll be visiting you often, okay? Oh, you are leaving me all alone here. And only God knows when I'll see you again. Mama, once I get to the city, I'll find someone for you, okay? Mm. Just relax, okay? Mm. You know, I'm going, getting older and older every day. I'm living all alone here. Eh? Mama, but I just promised you. Eh? I'll get someone for you. Mm. Mm. Please. Mm. Don't miss me too much, yeah? Mm. I want <laughs> my darling. It's okay. It's okay. Um, please don't forget. Go and beg Mama Kamara. Please. I will. Don't worry. I will. Promise. Yes. I will. <laughs> okay, Mama. But there's one very important thing. Get yourself a wealthy man. A rich man like the prince. You know I want to see my grandchildren. You are getting older and older every day. So I need to see my grandchildren. Please, Mama. my daughter. I will not only marry a wealthy man, I will also bring a man that will take good care of you mm -hmm. and good care of me. Okay? Thank you. Oh, what is it? <laughs> Mama, the <you> mama. <laughs> okay. Don't forget to marry somebody like the prince, a wealthy man. Stop it, stop it, stop it, stop it. What do you mean? You think I don't know you are the next queen of this land? <laughs> so beautiful you look. Thank you. And you too, you know you're always beautiful. <laughs> huh? So what's happening? Are you going back to the city? Yes. As you know, Sophia's traditional marriage is next week. So I want oh. to go out and help her, you know. Oh, that's true. I wish her all the best. I don't know if I can make it, but I'll try. I don't Just know. Try. <laughs> Your presence will be highly needed, you know. I will. I'll, I'll see how it goes. Ew, ew, ew. Oh, ew. My Lord, I'll miss you. I'll miss you too. Do take care of yourself. And you keep in touch. Don't forget. I want to. All right, then. Take care, okay? Have Bye. a safe one. <laughs> How are you? I am fine. How are you? I was just coming to your house. I said I've not seen you for some days. I hope there is no problem. No problem. I was coming to see you. I I want to apologize for the way I treated you the other day. Please forgive me. Biko, ah, my friend. Biko, Biko, forgive me. Mm -hmm. I have forgiven you already. I knew we're not just in a good mood, so that one is by the way. Uh, you are forgiving me. Mm -hmm. Moreover, I've not forgotten what we've been through together. We are friends now for mm -hmm. years. Oh, why, well, your ma, my good friend. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> oh, thank you, thank you. So, exactly. where are you going to now, now? I want to go to Madame Choma's shop and buy some vegetables. I want to make vegetables soon. Okay, I will follow you. Huh? Hey, let me follow you. I even carry your bag, <laughs> my friend. <laughs> hey, let's go now. <laughs>
promise I will change. So, Mother, you know what love is. You actually know what love is. And you decided to not tell me the truth. You say you love me. And you've kept the truth away from me this whole time. I've been suffering and suffering and suffering. I am sorry. Everything I've been doing is because I wanted the best for you. I want you to be comfortable, son. How could you? You think you can fight love and win? No one fights love and wins. Because love overcomes everything. It transcends everything. You cannot fight love and win. Now look where you have landed. I'm sorry, son. I'm sorry, please. I need you to do me a favor. Help me be with your father. Mm. Not to punish me. Right here. I am not going to get involved. He's your husband. You should deal with him on that level. Let's not get involved. I have my own life to live now. Please. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Fine, fine. Uh, are you still living? Yeah. I'm still thinking about it. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I'm thinking. So, my prince. My prince. So, what, what is the next plan? About what? About your mom, of course. Ah, my mother. I don't know. I'm still thinking about it. I mean, I have forgiven her, though. Okay. Yeah. She's likely to travel. But why, if I may ask? She needs to go and cool off. I mean, after all the things that have been happening, she needs to just go and quiet down and relax. Because she was stressed. Of course. Totally stressed out. Okay. She's stressed out. But it will be after my traditional wedding. Yeah. That would be a nice idea. So my prince, what if she travel with your dad? Nah, I doubt that's gonna happen. My father will not want to leave his throne and go anywhere. That man is attached to his throne. Hmm. I actually thought about that. I know he wouldn't want to leave his throne. It's okay, once again, congratulations.
god! Oh, thank you guys. Wow. Thank you guys. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Girlfriend. Mm -hmm. Like this now, you are now the next queen. <clears throat> Just like that. I mean, what's the I mean, it's not my fault. I married it, you know. Yes. My dear, that's what I see, I'm all. <laughs> Joe, it's your luck, darling. At least, um, I'll stop bragging that my friend is the next queen. <laughs> <laughs> um, Maunis, how did you manage to meet him? Like, I am still surprised. It's not the three of us that are here. Or it just happened like magic. My dear, you were sleeping and snoring. Oh. <laughs> you know, um, I've always told you guys, you have to be very smart to shine your eyes when dealing with men. Mm. You have to be very smart. Because you see these men, they are smart too. Trust me. If you are not smart with them, they will use and dump you. Mm. 100%. And uh, please, can you do me a favor by telling me? I mean, everything. Update me. I'm your friend. I don't understand. This kind of update is for us now. It's for me, Sophia. Not for people like you who are in a relationship. Mm -hmm. mm. She in a relationship. Relationship indeed. <coughs> Such relationship. Nonsense. <laughs> I'd rather be single, please. Hey. <clears throat> Do you know you are very wicked? You are a joy killer. So if people that are in a relationship come out now, you will want me to come out. How? Why are you both saying all this? Okay, it's Gosoria, not your man. God forbid. God forbid. I reject him. I dash you. Which Gosoria are you talking dash about? You. No, no, tell me. Which Gosoria are you talking about? That no life? That non-entity, mm -hmm. that son of a nobody. Oh, house. baby, please. She's bigger than some nonsense. <sighs> I don't know what both of you are insinuating, but Sissy, I will tell you the truth. You and Gosura are meant for each other. Can you be sincere? Please. Huh. Cassie. Huh? Talk to me. I'm talking to you. <sighs> Sissy. Sissy. What is that rubbish you were talking before? You told him that you're done with the relationship. And you're blaming me for accepting him. I said that to you, but I didn't tell you to accept him. I told you because it was for a while. What is wrong with you? I gave him space. That doesn't mean that we were done with the relationship. Stacy, do not blame me for your misfortune. I did not beg Usura to love me. You know what? Just bring it down, girls. Bring it down! I mean, Uno, calm down. We can settle this thing amicably now. This girl, this girl is a betrayer. You are a betrayer. And I bet you, someone else will take him away from you, just the same way you did to me. And I know you will feel the pain that I'm feeling right now. Stacy, I begged you not to leave him. I pleaded. But you won't listen. Now you're blaming me. I told you everything that I told you because I thought you were my friend. But no, you are a betrayer. You are very wicked. And I hate you. Enough, 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 enough! What is all this nonsense? Just because of a man? did an excellent job by hiding your beauty all this while. I mean, I'm astounded, honestly. You know, the day Ugoloma's ego perched on me, 
I was so happy. Not because I was going to be the queen, but because I was going to be married to the man I have always, always admired. Really? I see. Um, there have been many nights where I contemplated about this lady that I was going to settle down with eventually. And I always wondered, would she be worth it? That lady that I had to follow tradition and listen to my parents, would she be worth it? When I laid my eyes on you, I realized that indeed, you were worth it. And you are worth it. You are such an exceptional lady. And I love you. I love you too, Mariette. Bye. 